Hello friends, welcome to Good Hacker Lead Code Tutorial. Here we are going to solve coding problem search for a range. So given an array of integers sorted in ascending order, find the starting and ending position of a given target value. Your algorithm's runtime complexity must be in the order of a O log n. So if the target is not found in the array, return the array negative 1 and negative 1. So for example, given an array 5, 7, 7, 8, 8, 10, and target value 8, we will return, we see there's a 2, 8 in array. So first, our 8 is at the uh, index third position, second at the fourth position. So we return the index 3 and 4. So the problem requires us to have a time complexity O log n. So this reminds us that we can have a binary search to help solve this problem because a binary search is an algorithm that could achieve the O log n time capacity. Every time you do a binary search, you get rid of a half and keep going and until you find the target. So here I'm going to demonstrate how to use a binary search to solve the, this problem. So uh, first I will use some example to help you understand. So uh, I made a slight difference of the example. So there are three eights in this example. So the first eight is at the two position and last eight is at the index four position. And uh, to, we can actually use a binary search twice to solve this problem. The first time is looking for the first eight. And the second time we are looking for the last eight. So to, have, to do the binary search, remind, uh, we can have a, some index variables. So index start and the index mid and the index end. So mid is just a, a mid position of a start and an end index because a start and an end index is keep changing. So the mid position is also keep changing. So um, also people just uh, use a start plus n to divide two to get the mid position. But I will use this way because uh, sometimes you have a very big integer and another big integer, you will get a integer overflow. So use this way to have a minus operation first. You can avoid such an in, in integer uh, overflow problem. So uh, use this way is better to get a mid position. So start index at the beginning is at um, zero index position and the end, end index is at the last position of the array. And the mid index, mid index for this example, you have a start and a end, uh, end is a five here, and a ne uh, minus negative, uh, minus zero and divide two, that's a just a two for this example. So mid is a first at this position. So we will have a while loop while loop that's doing this binary search while start plus one negative less than n and uh, at the beginning this mid position is uh, just a uh, uh, use this one so we we can compare the array current mid position we check if the mid position is equal to the target value so if it's equal to the target value, what should we do? We should get rid of the right half and keep doing the search for the left half because we are looking for the first target. So the target may appear in the array many times and we are looking for the first position of the target occurrence. So now if the mid position is equal to the target, we can move the end position to the current mid position. So we'll move this one to here, to the current mid position. Same thing here. So if a mid position 
um, is a greater than the target, we will also need to get uh, get rid of the uh, right half and update the end to the mid precision. And if um, mid precision is less than target, we will use us. We is less than the target. That means uh, the target is on the right side. So we need to um, search for the get rid of the left side. So we update the star precision to the mean precision. So this is a so uh, using wire loop here. So star plus one and uh, less than n. So there's a one precision between the start and the end. Using this way, you will always have the two. When you finish this wire loop, you will still have a two uh, precisions. So one is a star and one is an n. So we can do first uh, check the n if equal to the target. So if uh, it's uh, equal to the target, like the array. For this problem, we have a int that's a length of two int array. That's a result. So our result, the first precision would be the end. So if the lumps start is equal to the target, because the start is at the left side of the end. So if the start is also equal to the target, we will get override this and uh, just the result is a current star precision. So this is look this is a part to looking for the first uh, target. And uh, si similarly when we do the search, another binary search to looking for the last eight, we can just make a slight change here. So just uh, here, pay attention here. So if the mid precision equals to the target, what should we do? We should uh, update the star precision to the mid precision because we are looking for the last precision of the target. So last precision, that means it's on the right side. So we, are, we should get rid of the left side. So we move the star to the mid precision to keep looking for the, um, the target. And also, at last, we should um, um, move the start before the end. And uh, we will update the second um, result precision. So if that's a start, and uh, we start, uh, if the long uh, start is equal to the target, our result second precision, so result would be the start. And then, if the result end is uh, to the start, to the target, and we should uh, update the result one to the end. So the end will override the start. So this is a, a slight change here. So back to the uh, this coding problem, I will demonstrate coding in Java to solve this problem. So what we should return is a result array. So just a length of a two. And at the beginning, the we initialize the both position to negative one. So negative one, negative one, if a target is not found. So like uh, if uh, our lumps array is null, all lumps is an empty array, contains no element, we can directly return the, this result array. And then we will do the first, uh, for first binary search. To find the 
first uh, occurrence of a target. So we will have a start index at the beginning, it's just a zero, and the end just a nums the nth minus one. And uh, we have uh, this while loop while start plus one, this uh, end, and uh, we will have the mid precision. Mid precision, as we just uh, said, we use this formula to get the mid precision of the end and the start uh, index. If the nums the mid equal to target. And um, because we are looking for the first occurrence, so if the mid is equal to the target, we should get rid of the right side. So we will move the end to the current mid position. Else, if also if the nums mid position is greater than the target, target is still on the left side. We also update the end to the mid. And else, if the nums mid position is less than the target, we update the start to the mid position and we get rid of the left side and looking only looking for the right side to look keep going to find the target and um, using this while look we will have a two uh, uh, two numbers of array left so the first if our lumps end is equal to the target and uh, we can update the first precision because the result the result of zero precision indicates the first precision of the target so we can update this to end and if um, uh, luckily the start precision also is equal to the target we can use result uh, zero position to the start. So this will override the previous uh, result position. And uh, so this one, the result zero, will be set to the really the real first uh, occurrence of the target. And the same thing here. So we need to uh, do a larger binary search. So second binary search to find the last occurrence of the target. So start also reset to the zero position and lumps and also set to the uh, last position and the while start plus one is then end and the int mid not equal to negative one divide two if current mid precision is equal to the target so this is we make a slightly change we are looking for the last occurrence so that our star will move to the mid precision get rid of the left side and only looking for the right side else if the nums mid um, is a less than the target so this time if it's a less than the target so that means uh, we should uh, also set the start to the mid position because a um, mid position is less than the target the target is on the right side and we set the start to the mid else if that's uh, just a uh, nums mid position is greater than the target so that means we can uh, get rid of the right side and uh, keep looking for the left side of the mid position so end would mid move to the mid position okay so at the last 
So this time we will do the um, target comparison from the star precision first. So last two elements. So lump star equals to your target, and we will set the second second element of the result to the start because this is uh, set the last occurrence of the uh, target. So if the lumps uh, n is equal to the target, we will get override the previous um, result. So result of the second element, result one would set to the n. So that's uh, really the real uh, last occurrence of the target. And finally, just return this result. So uh, let's quick work through this and check if there's a typo or something. So we initialize array uh, with a length of a two and a result of zero and a result of one initialize with a negative one. And if the lumps array is um is null, or if there's an empty array. We directly return this result, negative one, negative one. And uh, we use a first uh, two binary search. So first binary search to find the first occurrence of a target. Start is equal to zero and is uh, at the last precision. And we do a while loop and keep doing. So we compare the mid precision with the target. So th the first time we're looking for the first occurrence. So if the mid precision Luckily, equals to the target, we should update the end to the mid because um, we are looking for the first occurrence. So we get rid of the right side and uh, looking for the left side to keep going to find the really the first occurrence of a target. So if nums n equals, equals to target, and uh, we can set the result 0 to the end and the result 0 to the start. So if the both end and the star is equal to the target, we result zero will be the star. So really the real first occurrence. And second binary search to find the last occurrence. So similarly, we reset our start and end position and do this binary search again. Just a slightly different here. The mid position equal to the target. And we should keep doing the search on the right side. So we move the start to the mid precision. And if the start precision equals to the target, result 1 is equal to start, and result 1 is the end, uh, so that we can set the uh, last occurrence of the result to the really the, um, the last occurrence. So return. OK. Let's submit. Okay, accept it. That's good uh, because there are long code and uh, we make this one time success. So, this is a very um, good example to use binary search to solve this problem by using binary search twice and you can find a range of the target value. So, uh, I hope you enjoy uh, watching this. So. Uh, leave your comment. You you have some any suggestions, any ideas, so we may make. Uh, I will keep make um, make improve this video tutorial quality, and feel free to subscribe to this channel, and we can keep going and keep making progress together. So okay, thank you for watching.